we are asked to multiply x squared minus 3x plus 1 into x minus 8. Open this up by saying x into x squared minus 3x plus 1. What I did to pick this one, I put it beside this. I also pick this one minus 8 and I put it beside this one. So it is allowed in mathematics. Then you have this time this s cube. This time this minus 3x squared. This time this plus x. I open down. Then this one, this time this minus 8x squared. This time this plus 3ax. This time this minus 8. So what we're going to do now is to bring them together. This one is the only one here. X cube. This one has this power. So I have I have minus minus 8x squared minus 3x squared. Then I have plus 3ax plus x minus 8. So that's what I'm going to have. So in this situation, I have x cubed minus what is what's common here? I have x squared is common. So I have a plus 3x squared. So you have to do it in such a way that because I brought the minus out. So this one will be will remain this. Then Minus times plus is minus. But if you put plus here, minus times minus, and minus times minus will be what? Plus. And it's not plus that is here. So you have to be very careful here. Then here, plus. And I have what is common? X. 3a plus 1. X. And X is common there. Then minus a. So this is what, that is the way to express my final answer. Although this is the answer, but it can, it can also be simplified as this. assume that f of m in this situation to factorize effectively we will try and test and how do we test if you look at your options now not to waste your time since it is objectives you look for look at your option you discover that one is one of them so you try plus or minus one you try plus or minus so let's try one for example when our m is one so i have that's try and error you try when m is 1 and see whether this particular one will be a factor of this polynomial. So f of 1. So f of 1 will now be 1 cube minus 2 into 1 square minus anywhere you see m you replace with 1. 1 plus 2. So that's f1. 1. 1 cube is 1 minus this is 1 square is 1. 1 times this minus 2. Minus 1 plus 2. 1 plus 2. 1 minus 2, minus 1. Minus 1 minus 1, minus 2. Minus 2 plus 2, 0. That means f of 1 is equal to 0, which implies that m equals to 1 is a solution and m minus 1 is a factor. So now, since the question asks us to factorize, we've been able to get 1. Once you get 1, you can resolve to what is known as long division method to solve for the other factors. What am I saying? So I will pick my polynomial that is f of x where is it m cube minus 2m squared minus m plus 2 then i will divide it by m, m, m minus 1 which is one of them i want to reduce this one to a polynomial of degree 2 this divided by this that's m squared use this to multiply this m cube use it to multiply this minus m squared then you move the line and subtract m cube minus m cube is cancelled out. Then you have 2m cube uh, squared minus this minus, then minus in the minus of this m squared. Then you have, then you bring this one down, minus m plus 2. So in this situation, minus 2m squared minus plus 
m squared. That would definitely be 2 minus 2 m squared plus m squared. That would be minus m. So I have m minus m squared like that. Minus m squared. So I have minus m squared. Yeah, I have minus m squared minus m plus 2. Now, use this to divide this. That would be minus m. Minus m times this again. That would be minus m squared. Minus m times this plus m. Then I rule it again. I subtract. Minus m squared minus minus m squared. That would be minus m squared minus minus m squared. That would be minus m squared plus m squared. That means they will cancel out. That's zero. Then this one will become minus m minus plus m. That would be minus 2m plus 2. Bring this one down again. Then this divided by this, that's minus 2. Minus 2 times this, minus 2m. Minus 2 times this, plus 2. Then subtract this minus this, 0. This minus this, 0. That means you are having, remember that you have the first one as m minus 1. So the second one that you're having is m squared minus m minus 2. Though this one is quadratic expression, so we can also simplify it, we break into 2. And by doing so, we look for, we solve it by using factorization method. Then it should be m squared. Then the factor of this, we have minus 2m plus m minus 2. So we dissect this. Then we're going to have what is common here? m is common. m minus 2. What is common here? Plus 1. m minus 2. So I have m minus 2. m plus 1. That means, therefore, having broken everything that I have, m minus 1 or m minus 2 m minus 1 m plus 2 so i try to m plus 1 i try to arrange them in ascending order m minus 2 m minus 1 m plus 1 so we go to our option and see the one that correlates with m minus 2 m minus 1 m plus 1 so there are our options so the one that will definitely correlate will be m minus 2 m plus 1, m minus 1. So that's option C is the answer to that very question. Then the next question says that if g of x is equal to this, find g of f of plus, uh, f plus 1, m, g x plus 1, g of x. That means g of x plus 1 minus g of x. Now, in this situation, the first thing we have to do is to find an equation for g of f, uh, g of x plus 1. Then we also find an equation for g of x. It has even been given. So, we just haven't found an equation for g of x plus 1. We now subtract it from g of x. So, what am I saying? Since our g of x is given as x squared plus 3x plus 4 then i'm looking for g of x plus 1 so anywhere i see my x i will replace with it i will replace it with x plus 1 here i have x plus 1 all squared plus here i have 3 into x plus 1 then plus 4 then i simplify this have oh i have explain how to open this without going to the rigor to the rigor of x plus 1 into x plus 1 so I put this on this x squared use it to multiply this 2x times this plus 2x put this on this 1 squared is what? plus 1 then this one is plus 3x plus 3 plus 4 I open this up then I have x squared plus 2x bring those are similar together 3x plus 1 plus 3 plus 4. So I'm going to have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. It's complete. And I have x squared plus 2x plus 3x. That's plus 5x plus 1 plus 3 plus 4 plus 8. So I have this. So having gotten this for my g of x plus 1. So I will now subtract. So I have g of x plus 1 minus g of x. What am I saying? x squared plus 5x plus 8 minus, I'll bring this one now, into x squared 
that's g of x plus 3x plus 4. So I'll use that minus to open it up. Then I'll have x squared plus 5x plus 8. This one will become minus x squared minus 3x minus 4. x minus x cancel out. This one cancel out. 5x minus 3x, that's 2x. 8 minus 4 plus 4. So I have this. Is the option spread that way? No. So I try to simplify it for that. I can see that 2 can go in 2x and 4. So I have 2 into x plus 2. So I'll go to my option and pick the one that correlates with 2 into x plus 2. And by my option, option B suits. So option A is the answer. Now, question number 8 says factorize 1 minus open the bracket a minus b all squared. Look at this again. This one, what is this one testing? If you look at it closely, look at it closely. It's also testing for difference of two squares. Take note how one square is what? One. So I can as well as write this one as one square minus a minus b all squared, which means this one is a square. This one is also a square, and there you have a difference. We state that a square minus b square is the same thing as what? a minus b. a plus b. In this situation, what would be my a? My a will be 1, and my b will be a minus b. So in that situation, I will have a square minus a minus b all square will now be 